Hello to one and all. Myself, Vinod Patil, working as assistant professor in MGV's Samashri Prashant Dada Hiri College of Pharmacy in Department of Pharmacy. Today, we will discuss regarding physiological salt solution. So, PSS solution is shortly called a physiological salt solution, shortly called as a PSS solution. A solution of a salt or salts that is essentially isotonic with the tissue, fluid or blood, especially an approximately 0.9% solution of sodium chloride. This PSS solution is also called as saline, brine, saline solution, normal salt solution, physiological saline solution or <laughs> physiological salt solution. They can be labeled as a different form. So, just we will take the introduction. So, PSS is an artificially prepared solution used to maintain a tissue in a viable state. Means whatever we are preferring the PSS solution, that is what artificially prepared solution. And so that they can be maintained that tissue for a maximum time of the alive or viable state. PSS can be used to keep isolated tissue alive under experimental conditions. PSS is very important to maintain a tissue outside the animal body and fulfill their internal environment of ions and nutrients. Means whatever we are performing in vitro studies through isolated tissue preparation. So the PSS solution should be provide the externally the ions to that tissue as well as nutrients so that the tissue should be viable for the maximum period of time. So this is what the name of the different PSS solution and here the name of the constituent of a different that should be added in PSS solution while preparing the PSS solution. So like the, the constituent includes sodium chloride, calcium chloride, then magnesium chloride, magnesium sulfide, sodium dihydrogen phosphate, potassium dihydrogen phosphate, glucose, sodium bicarbon and calcium chloride. Some of the time the sodium lactate have to be added. So here the name of the different PSS solutions. According to tissue, what sort of the tissue we are preferring? So like that wise we are preferring the sort of the PSS solution. Like Frogringer solution, Mammalian Ringer solution, Thyroid solution, Grape Hinslet salt solution, Ringer Lockwood salt solution or Dijalan solution. So as we have already seen the different name of the constituent that to be added in PSS solution. Here they mention the main component that should be added as a salt form or the salt which are going to be added like the sodium salt chloride, potassium, magnesium, calcium, glucose and the vehicle that should be as a distilled water or the other one. Here the maximumly the distilled water that to be preferring, why not the tap water because tap water may have the heavy metals and so that lead to what? The development of turbidity. That's why rather than preferring the tap water, they are going to prefer what? The distilled water or water. So here the role of the each ingredient. What are the purposes? Why we are going to be adding the different ingredients into the PSS solution? What is that the role? Like sodium chloride to maintain the isosmolarity, isotonicity, excitability and contractility of the preparation of the tissue. Then potassium chloride to maintain the ionic balance. Calcium chloride that to maintain the contractility of the preparation. Sodium bicarbonate to provide the alkaline pH glucose to provide energy to that tissue, sodium or potassium dihydrogen phosphate, they can be acting as a buffer and magnesium chloride to stabilize the preparation and hence to reduce the spontaneous activity. This whatever the ingredients we are added, they are having what? The role of each ingredient so that the tissue should be viable for a maximum period of time. So same so whatever we are learning into the earlier side, the <laughs> purposes of each video here, they will be mentioning the salt into the form. And what are the roles? The one and the same. With the sodium, we are going to do what maximumly the osmolarity or the osmotic pressure. Then potassium, so they can do what? Nerve conduction, muscle contractilities. Then calcium, the excitability and contractility. Magnesium, spontaneous activity. Potassium, dihydrogen, phosphate. So maintain alkaline pH and act as what? The buffer. Sodium bicarbonate, they can be making what? Alkaline pH and glucose and water, they can be what? The nutrient or the energy and the vehicle. So, while preparing the PSS solution or the physiological salt solution, what precaution should be 
<coughs> kept in your mind. So the calcium chloride is one of the salt that to be added in the PSS solution. While preparing your the PSS solution, that the salts, the heavy salt, calcium chloride, so that to be added as to the last. Why? Because of what? To prevent the precipitation formation and chelation of bicarbonate ions. So that to avoid the precipitation, we can be add what? Calcium chloride into the last. So pretty makes the solution turbid and interfere with the internal property of the solution and may reduce the visibility of tissue. Whatever the tissue we are going to be placed into the inner organ but So they can be easily to visualize. But if the tissue uh, your solution is turbid, so they can be not visualized to you. And whether they are going to be getting the at the time of the recording. So we are not getting the clear picture whether it is to be contractile or not. So while preparing PSS solution that the pH of that solution should be in between what? 7.3 to 7.5. So when we are going to be weighing the calcium chloride magnesium chloride, they are of hygroscopic means when we are preparing this, that not early to what weighed it out. So while preparing immediately we are going to be open that box or the <coughs> ingredient and just weigh and add into the stock solutions. Okay, means you are the water as a vehicle, so inside that you can be added. So some of the time it can be replacing what? Replace the MgCl2 with MgSO4. Do not interfere with the tissue activity. So that what? If we are going to be making the MgCl2 is not available or due to the hygroscopic nature, so you can be added MgSO4. And that error should be not <coughs> greater than one person. Okay. So always prepare a plus solution. Whenever we are going to perform an experimentation on tissues or in vitro studies, so always we are going to prepare in the PSA solution as a fresh solution. If stored for the longer duration, risk of bacterial growth due to glucose. So if you are storing more than the 24 hours, so there may be chances that what bacterial growth will be happening over the what PSA solution. So that's why we are going to prepare what fresh solution. If needed and required, storage lesser than 24 hours then add glucose and calcium at the time of experimentation. If you are going to be requiring second day, again the same PSS solution. So, rather than you are going to be adding into that PSS solution, the glucose and calcium chloride should be freshly to weigh and that should be added at the before the experimentation and can be stored for 24 hours in the fridge. The tissue aeration, 95% of the O2 is given to that the tissue and 5% CO2 that is carbohydrate. So, oxygen is important for survival of the tissue. Carbogen is important, <coughs> it is important. Pure O2 interact with the bicarbonate buffer in PSS, which will cause CO2 loss and solution become alkaline. So, that's why what the, the combination or the oxygenation to be given to that tissue. The selection of PSS solution. As we have already seen, the different name of the PSS solution. So, according to what the sort of the tissue we are going to be used, so according to that, the PSS solution could be utilized. The Krebs solution, that is the universal solution. While amphibian tissue, if you are going to be used, so at that time you can be used what? Proveringer solution. If you are going to be used smooth muscles tissue, so you should be preferred what? The thyroid solution. If you are going to be used innervated muscles or the avian skeletal muscle, so always you should be used what? Krebs or Dijalon's McEwen solution. Or if you are going to be used heart muscle, so always you should to use what? <coughs> Ringer locus. Means according to what sort of the tissue we are going to be used, according to that we are preferring what? The type of the PSS solution. Thank you. Now we will proceed for actual procedure of PSS solution preparation. <coughs>